I am Adil Kumar. We are discussing basic differentiation for IB level. It is a question from a quiz. Question number three. Here is a copy of this question. Question number three is find the simplified expression for the slope of tangent for f of x equals to square root of 5 minus x. Part B is find the slope of the tangent line at x equals to 5 and part C is determine domain of the derivative. Right? So that is the question for us. Now let's look into the question. Part A. Find the simplified expression for the slope of the tangent line. That means first we should find the derivative, right? So derivative of this is f dash x. Now we could rewrite this in power form. We could write this as 5 minus x to the power of half. Now it becomes simpler to find the derivative using the power rule, right? So the power rule, as you know, is if y equals to a times x to the power of n, then the derivative is n times a x to the power of n minus 1. So that's the rule which we are going to apply. So the derivative here is we wrote it as half as an exponent. So it is half times 5 minus x to the power of half minus 1, right? And this is half times 5 minus x to the power of minus half, right? So this could be written as 1 over, right? So 2 is in the denominator, square root of 5 minus x. So that is the simplified expression for the slope of tangent line, right? We don't have to find equation of tangent line or anything like that. So that is the answer for us. Now the question is, part B, find the slope of tangent at 5 x equals to 5. Now at x equals to 5, you can see that if I put x as 5, we get something over 0, right? So we get something over 0 and therefore the tangent for this is it does not exist, right? So it is undefined. We can say it does not exist. So at 5 it does not exist. As you know the graph of this function will be uh, kind of it is minus it is reflected moved 5 units to the right correct. So so the graph of this curve is kind of like this and this is kind of a corner. So it does not exist at this point. As we approach from 5 plus side the value is undefined, right? So it does not exist at this point. Okay. So that's part B. And part C is determine domain of the derivative. Now since 5 minus x was within the square root and it is in the denominator, to find domain, you know, 5 minus x should be actually greater than 0, right? Otherwise, negative value, imaginary numbers, correct? So simplifying this, we get x should be bringing x to this side less than 5. So we can write down the domain for this function as x belongs to real numbers where x is less than 5, correct? So that becomes the domain for the function. I hope that helps. Go through this question once again, try to understand exactly what is being asked. I hope that really helps. Thank you and all the best.